Hello, everybody. Welcome to the MGSP Dungeon Podcast episode two. And I'm here with Hadley. G'day, everybody. We're here. We are going to be talking about the dungeons reopening, which is magnificent. We love Woohoo! The Old Towers dungeon has already reopened. I have not, I'm yet to do it, as me and Hadley are going to Orton Towers on Sunday. We are going to do the dungeons there, and we are going to be vlogging so that we have vlogged from that. Booyakasha! <laughs> That's the only thing I could think of then. Booyakasha! Yeah, we go. Um, yes. So today we're going to be talking about um, the safety precautions and all of that stuff. Um, like the hand sanitizer, social distancing. We pretty much covered it now, haven't we? <laughs> it's, it's two minutes in. Yeah, it's stuff like that. Um, and we're just going to be having like a detailed talk, talk about it, really. Um, as well as that, George has got some merch to show. I have got no merch this week. And... I've also taken a haircut, if you see. I'm blonde! Oh, no. I know, and I've got a haircut. I've got a haircut. And yeah. also repping the side men merch. i I got to get that in somewhere, haven't I? Um, but yes. Um, so first up, what what do you th- think from the Alton Towers video? Um, if nobody's seen it, Alton Towers has released a video um, talking about the new and improved Alton Towers dungeons for COVID nineteen. What what what's the main things you gathered from that video? The uh, main things I gathered during the video, they said that um, new routes. Yes. I'm thinking, is there actually any new routes, or are they just saying it? Yeah, it, it may it may just be a massive marketing scheme, to be honest. I mean, we've had mixed talks. We've had some people go, yeah, there's new routes. And we've had a few others that have gone, no, nah, there's nothing there. So I think it's going to be one of them situations where we're going to have to find out on the day um, just to see kind of what's going on. Um, but the main thing that I gathered from that is in the video, all the actors were wearing masks. Um, I, um, if you guys know the traffic patrol, uh, which is street performance at Alton Towers, they um, have to wear masks outside, um, and that's outside. So I can gather that all the dungeon staff and actors will all have to wear um, face masks or coverings of some sort. Um, obviously, if nobody knows the dungeons, it's quite a crammed room anyway. So uh, COVID-19 really doesn't help. Um, for this scenario, um, but I think if if the government have gave them the thumbs up to uh, to to open it, then I think that they obviously they've got the right precautions and they've got the right measurements um, to make sure that all the uh, guests and fans are safe. So I think it'll be very exciting to see what the uh, Alton Towers dungeon, the Blackpool dungeon, every single dungeon that has reopened, what they're going to do. Yeah. Um, the dungeons are an absolute brilliant attraction. We love them. That's why this podcast is called the MGSB Dungeon Podcast. Because dungeons, uh, it's weird because some it's relatively it is history, but with Merlin's own twist on it. Yeah. And on, m- more to the story that they've added to make it into the dungeon. And I know a lot of theme park YouTubers or just YouTubers usually say oh, I wish Alton Towers embraced, or I wish these theme parks embraced their history, embraced this and that. That's exactly the definition of the uh, the dungeons. I mean, they've got all these scenes which are based off the past and based off the local area, um, like the yeah. Molly Lee scene at Alton Towers Dungeon, the Jack the Ripper scene in the London Dungeon. Um, there's so many stuff. The Witches of Warwick, uh, which there was believed that Warwick Castle had witches, there's so much history, all jam-packed into an hour or half an hour long show. Um, yeah. Sometimes including rides, sometimes not. But I think whether they have rides or not, I think the Dungeons is a brilliant um, attraction for the whole family. And I'm just very glad uh, to see it open again. I completely agree with all of that. The one thing that, what do you prefer in the Dungeons? Do you prefer the boat ride version of it or the um, drop tower? Now, I have only done two dungeons, obviously, the Blackpool one. Well, no, I've done three, but only two with rides. I've done the Blackpool one and the Tower one, which is a drop tower and a boat ride. Um, personally, I didn't really see much in the Alton Towers boat ride, unfortunately, but I've only been in that dungeons once, and that was on opening day where everything, you know, was just starting up. Um, so I think on the second, uh, maybe my opinion will change, but for now... 
uh, even though I'm kind of upset about the drop tower, like, and it wasn't the experience I hoped it would be, I think that the drop tower is the better ride in the dungeons, um, especially yeah. the story behind it with the execution and all sorts. I think it's perfect. I'm the opposite way around. You play the boat ride. The boat ride. I feel like the, the boat ride, some dungeons themed absolutely amazingly. Yeah. Yeah. The Dome Towers one, it has a lot of potential. There's a lot of space there which just isn't being used. Yeah. Which, how how many dark bits are on there where there's just nothing there, just pitch black? Because that, that, so much in the yeah. places. That is, that is the reason why I kind of rate the boat ride so low on opening day. Just the fact it was just dark. And I don't really like when place or places or rides use kind of screens i think they're cheap and they look cheap at times um attractions such as darkest depths at alton tower scarefest i think that that was used perfectly because they had screens but they had a really detailed sets and props as well oh yeah like, and i feel like the end of the minute, yeah. where they had like the in you had the water spraying out your sand on the floor the boat yeah. the i feel like when you have the mix between props and screens Screens can be used really well, but when you just have screens and maybe a few tacky Wicked props, Man. then the Wicked Man structure, how it's got screens in it, well, had screens in it. Yeah. It moved. Yeah, I think that that's perfect. Once again, it, it's it's depending whether a what the budget is, b how much money you've got left, and c um is can you do anything in the space that you've got? And with the Alton Towers boat ride. I think that no matter what anybody says, they can do something in okay. one of them areas. They do a lot better in there. The, 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 the whole dungeon, basically. Yeah, the scenes are brilliant. Most are perfect. You don't need to do anything to them. But the scenes, like the judge, they can add a bit more scenery like, behind you. Like, yeah, like the um, torture scene behind you, it's just a black wall. Yeah, and by the way, I, this will probably be at the start of it because I feel like we've gone, well, we're nine minutes in now, so it's a little bit late to say this now, but there is spoilers in our podcast. Oh, so yeah. So for future episodes, <laughs> there's a load of spoilers. Um, hopefully, um, the editor will add in a little thing, disclaimer at the start, because we blobbed it. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah. Speaking of the dungeon, Alton Towers have started to do merch for the Alton Towers dungeon. They brought out this dungeon bear, which I, I, I know is little, but I, I love it. I want them to do more. Apparently, um, they were supposed to do a lot more for this year's merch. Like, that's why merch is coming in through season. Like, the new Wickman mug that was revealed yesterday. No, the day before, sorry. So I feel, I feel like we should we should say what merch was meant to be coming out because not many people know this information. Yeah. We, won't, well, we, won't give, we won't give out the source that told us. Um, yeah. But we'll just kind of say what they said it to was us. Supposed to be a um, 40th anniversary pin badge, like like Joe you know Howard Towers do the yearly ones with like 2019 at the bottom and stuff like that. They're supposed yeah. to do an anniversary one of that. There's supposed to be an embossed 40th anniversary mug as well. A, and there's supposed to be a um, Alton Towers dungeon hoodie, like much like what I'm wearing right now. But uh, it's coronavirus. They said that the coronavirus obviously kept stuff through. It's hard to get stuff from different countries where all this come from, all the merch, and get it through customs, through they get get them to Alton Towers. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry if yeah, I'm sorry if my arms swing about. There's a fly in this room. Um, because of noise from the outside, I've had to shut my door. So this fly is just kind of going around. The can MGS we get can we get the can we get the hashtag MGSB Dungeon Fly in the comments? Oh wow! <laughs> um, but this, yeah, and other theme pops I mean, they started doing face masks just like this, which is cloth. They yeah. they're ridiculously bad. I mean, if nobody knows the price by now, if nobody's seen the vlogs, it is six pounds for these cloth. For one, for one of these, yeah, six. Quid. Not worth it one bit. Terrible. Like, let, let, let me put it on. Oh, can't go over here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. This is two different like size things. You can go smaller. But this is quite tiny. Like, you can see my mouth and nose through it. Dead baggy. 
that's going to do that. It's going to slip. Yeah, that that's is... Awesome. I'm surprised that, once again, I went to Walton Towers um, when the queue, like, at the start of this season, uh, not the gardens or anything, like, just the start of the season last month. No, still this month, actually, peeps. Um, and I'm surprised I didn't see more of them cloth face masks in the queue line. Oh, like, they just I, flew off. When I went, um, there was quite a few on ride areas. I and did see about, And think about that, people. That's six pounds flying off your face. Which Personally, um, I suggest... This is going to be like a little sponsor, even though they haven't sponsored us. But Printables UK, Printables do like little mask buckles. Um, I won Coaster Toaster's giveaway and um, I've got a mask buckle and um, it was a 13 one. So they do roller coaster, especially Alton Towers, Alton Towers themed mask buckles um, to assure that your mask does not fall off. But they don't just do that. They do ride models. They do coat hangers they do all sorts they do all sorts um but yeah sorry it's not i love the fact that we just gave them the biggest self promo ever without even being sponsored. i know I... principals sponsor us sponsor the mgsp dungeon we'd love to hear from you get in touch i either on the theme park magic instagram or mgsb shall we just take note as well this week the um the cd came out the, yeah. uh, the Alton Towers CD came out, and so we listened to the first track, like a little bit of it. Here it is. Yeah. So, people, uh, this CD was £15 online and in Alton Towers stores. And is produced by I'm a Score. I'm a Score do a load of theme parks around the UK um, and abroad, um, and they 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 are just Area Fifty One. Yeah, well, Area Fifty One um, movie park, Germany. Beautiful soundtrack, and they've just released a CD on that as well. Um, but at the moment, it is sold out on Alton Towers, um, and I've seen very expensive prices on eBay. So, if you want to buy a CD, I recommend going on to I'm a School's website. Oh, August it's not out yet on the score. Pardon? Not out yet, is it, on I'm a School? It's out on all. No, no, I meant the Alton Towers CD. I meant the Towers one. Yeah, I know. It's not out on the I'm a School website yet. No, August the 3rd. That's what I was saying. Yeah. August the 3rd, which is... A uh, Monday. There you go. Start of the week. Brand new week. Brand new I, you with a new CD. The podcast, a few maps that I have. The Portus Park 2020 map, which it features Tornado Springs, which isn't opening until next year. Of course, the map they produced before that. And the exact same, but with Alton Towers, which this video is also out now, which you can all go and watch. Please do. And... Yeah, the, the, this one will also have a map showcase coming out at some point. So keep your eyes peeled, people. Lovely, jubbly. Anyway, I mean, it, we're getting around the 14, 15 minute mark. Do you want to wrap it up? Or... Well, I feel like, we've, feel like we talked about a lot. Um, mm. Obviously, I'm sorry uh, for those listeners in episode one. A, it was a shambles. And B, <laughs> we have not got the special guest for this episode, but we are working on it. There is another guy that I've got in mind, which I will happily speak to MGSB after this Dungeons podcast to try and get on for episode three. Anyway, I've been Theme Park Magic. And I've been MGSB. I will see you on the next MGSB Dungeon podcast. Dungeon podcast. Give us both a subscribe in ah. a bit, people. Bye, people. <laughs>